Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we'll take a look at Firebase pricing plans. We'll compare them according to their features. So basically, they have the option to use it for free and then you can pay as you go. So there are a lot of differences and also interesting things you need to know. So make sure to watch it until the very end. So as you can see, we have like free A-B testing, analytics, uh, app check, app distribution but if we are going to talk about the app hosting we can find the prices so uh, up to five gigabytes per month it's free then it's like 20 cents or 15 or uh, 10 uh, cents per gigabyte defined on the number like on the type of storage like storage cached outgoing bandwidth uncached outgoing bandwidth so yeah uh, on the some cloud products we can also discover all the prices like cloud run cloud build artifact registry cloud logging and so on so depending on what features you are going to use you can find all the prices uh, right up here they could be very different depend on what do you need we have a lot of documentation inside and basically uh, I recommend you to try firstly to create something on Firebase and after that you'll be able to get the price for what are you going to interact with. The same thing for authentication. So we can see current trades, some uh, Google Cloud pricing. So as you can see all the information here is inside of uh, their documentation and it's it could be not that easy to like calculate it before you can create your project because uh, you know that everything is changing so depending on the basically what's inside of your project you'll get the different prices uh, on cloud fire store the same thing cloud functions like cloud storage data connect so here we can find the price for the cloud storage as you can see, it's not that high on the hosting prices, Firebase, ML, real-time database. So basically, all the prices are really like different. There are a lot of different prices. And um, for your app, for your project, it would be hard to calculate. So I definitely recommend you to pay as you go. So if you are ready to start with Firebase, just simply create. And after that, your price will be automatically calculated as for you. So basically, this is the best way of how to get price on Firebase. Obviously, it helped you out. Leave a like, subscribe. Goodbye.